Well, it's official, but will it hold? The Biden administration has gone ahead and approved debt relief for another 125,000 of student loan borrowers. It was $9 billion forgiveness. It interrupted what had been a three-year pause in paying these loans back, so the meter was running before he stopped it, at least for these folks. But the governor of Georgia has a different way to incentivize those who want to go to good schools and the rest uh, without the federal government doling out money to forgive student loans. Governor Brian Kemp of Georgia kind enough to join us to explain Georgia Match, which I guess lines up kids in the state but with, with some good schools. Explain how it works, Governor, and good to have you. Hey, good to be back, Neil. Very excited this morning to roll out the largest direct college admissions program in the country. Next week, 120,000 high school seniors, public and private school, will receive a letter saying you have been accepted to either our technical college institutions here in Georgia or our university system schools, depending on their GPA match. So students are not going to have to go through that process. They'll know they'll get accepted. They still obviously have to enroll, but it's a way for us to reach every single child in our state uh, and also make sure the households know about the opportunities that we have here in Georgia for higher education. All right. Now, does it matter what their major is? Could you break it down? Well, this whole thing, Neil, I mean, look, we got a lot of great kids coming out of our university system and our technical college schools, Absolutely. you know, a every year and in, in every quarter. It's one reason we've been named the number one state for business from Area Development Magazine for the 10th year in a row, which we announced just a couple of days ago. And people are coming here because of our workforce. But we got so many good projects coming and having jobs of the future that we got to fill those jobs in two or three years. And so we need these kids to do that. We got to reach out and get a hold of those kids that may not be getting that job training that can get them in one of these good paying jobs with great benefits to help the companies that we have here in Georgia and those that are coming. So this program is designed to do that. It's an amazing amount of work by a lot of different people that normally don't get out of their silo when you think about our yeah. university system, our technical college system, Georgia Student Finance. We have the HOPE Scholarship and the HOPE Grant where basically people can go to school in Georgia tuition free and we just got to make sure these kids and their caregivers or parents know about the options that they have to fill the workforce needs of the future. What's smart about this governor is it doesn't rely on addressing the bills after the fact or forgiving or paying off student loans after the fact. Um, what do you think of the president's latest measure? Of course a lot are opposing it and expect to legally challenge it but it's a very different approach and it's ticking people off. What do you think? Well, I'm sure it's I'm sure it will be legally challenged, just like the, the last program was. He continues to act like a dictator instead of a president and continues, Neil, to pick winners and losers in Washington, D.C., just like they did with the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, you know, helping the big three that are now on strike, but penalizing companies like Hyundai and Rivian that are coming to the great state of Georgia and Kia that's expanding here. So, you know, I think the, the working people out there are furious about that. Let me ask you also is what's going the drama on Capitol Hill. I'm sure you're aware, Governor, uh, where Kevin McCarthy gets kicked out, a renegade group that is sort of locking the agenda of Congress, and some Republicans are worried about it. Are you worried about it? Well, it's a distraction, Neil. That's one thing I've warned people about, especially Republicans, that we can't get distracted. We need to stay focused on what the American people want. I've been staying focused on what's helping Georgians get through 40-year high by inflation. You know, Bidenomics is costing people more at the grocery store, more at the gas pump. And so we're doing kitchen table things here like suspending the gas tax to save people 31 cents a gallon or 35 cents a gallon on diesel. You know, we just did property tax relief when people are getting their tax bills right now. The average Georgian that owns a home is getting a $500 break on their property taxes to help them when they go to the grocery store and other things, high interest rates because of bad policies of this administration. And really what's happening in D.C. now, instead of Republicans talking about having a bill that secures the border and reduces uh, ridiculous government spending in Washington, D.C., they're having a speaker fight. Let me, uh, though, address what the big fight seems to be, that it's the party of Donald Trump right now. He's runaway leader in the polls, and I know that's just polls now. Not a single person has voted but that it's his race to lose. And those who have challenges on the, on the credentials issue and all of that, folks like Governor Ron DeSantis, are fading. Um, what do you think of that? 
Well, I wouldn't necessarily say people are fading. I mean, there's some people in the race that are surging. There's a long way to go. I, I wouldn't pay too much attention to national polls. I think really what's going to matter is what hap what's happening in Iowa on the ground right now, what's happening in New Hampshire, what will happen in South Carolina and Nevada, and then on Super Tuesday. And, you know, no one's even voted yet, Neil. No, and I'll right. tell you, my wife says all the time, what well, my wife says all the time, well, they hadn't called to ask me what I think. And so, you know, I, I think that's a lot of posturing on, on all the campaigns, which is part of it. But would you worry uh, I think if it were people Donald Trump, really though, focused. Governor? Would you worry? Because, you know, a lot of people have urged you to run. They think you have, you know, not only what you've been able to do in Georgia, but to fight those who were trying to get rid of you, um, even going, dating back to the Georgia recount, um, that you have the, certainly the cred and all of that stuff. Are you tempted when you look at this? Well, I've told a lot of people, Neil, look, we didn't get distracted in Georgia against a really tough uh, primary opponent, including uh, somebody that had President Trump's support. And we didn't right. get distracted facing the toughest Democrat in the country. And we stayed focused on helping Georgians. That's what the folks running for president need to do. Uh, my opinion is we've got too many people in the race right now. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So you don't want to add to that too many people for the time being? Well, that would be another distraction that I think would take away from our ability to consolidate right. and win and beat Joe Biden. You know, I've, I've told got you it. before, we got to tell people what we're for. We got to stay focused on the future and we have to have a candidate that can win. Got it. Governor Kemp, always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you very much, sir.